For most of my life, I have had a small workshop area where I built engines for energy generation and other projects. There was never enough space. It was always full of family stuff, so I had to move everything around before I could do anything. In short, it was a mess. It's a wonder that I was able to build my powerful engines under these conditions. I have some fairly sturdy machines for my hobby workshop, but I bought them all secondhand at scrap value, refurbished and converted them with a lot of work but little money, or even built them completely myself. These require a little more space, and this time I didn't want to compromise. I wanted to be able to work comfortably and efficiently. We had the old garage, damp, cold, dirty and leaky. When we needed an extra room for our daughter, my family gave me permission to turn it into the workshop of my dreams. To get everything done during the summer month, I had to use every spare minute and continue working even in rainy weather and darkness. That's why I decided to build the new workshop under the protection of the old garage to ensure I always have a protective roof over my head. The foundations were back-breaking work. Using a spade and a pickaxe, I dug a foundation trench to a frost-free depth and poured in tons of concrete and many meters of steel reinforcement. The wooden framework was a very enjoyable job that progressed quickly. Bitumen sheeting on the roof and a completely diffusion open construction should prevent moisture problems. A cover formwork provides the outer finish. Since all of the technology for the new solar plant also had to be housed in the workshop, the installation work was somewhat more extensive. Besides, you can never have enough power outlets in a workshop. There are over 30 of them here. In addition, openings for exhaust, ventilation and a small heat pump for heating. Everything was properly insulated and covered with diffusion open materials. Over the years, I have collected a large stock of materials, standard parts, tools and fixtures that allow me to improvise quickly without having to buy anything extra. This is very helpful in making fast progress in prototype construction. For this, I need a lot of storage space and work surface, which is still far from complete. It is very comfortable to be able to work on the machines at any time and not have to worry too much about the chips flying around everywhere. The eroding machines are quick to set up and a place for soldering is also immediately ready for use. This 3D printer can run for days without a break and the only thing I don't have on site is a TIG welder. That's pretty much the last thing I'm missing and would like to have in the distant future. Working in the new workshop is much more pleasant and effective, but it is rarely tidy. There are always parts lying around and projects in progress. Since most of my machines are controlled, it's not unusual for two machines to be working at the same time while I assemble parts or design new ones on the computer. I hope that, with these possibilities, I will be able to further develop my current main project, the Thermoacoustic Combined Heat and Power Plant, and achieve a performance similar to that of my kinematic stirring engines. The expansion of the workshop will still continue for a long time to come, especially as there is still a lot to do in terms of organization and storage. All this is done step by step. Whenever I feel like building something relaxing, I make drawers or improve other things. By doing this, I hope to get closer to achieving my goal of producing relevant amounts of energy ourselves, as well as helping others to become independent of large energy suppliers. As always, I welcome your criticism, suggestions and proposals. Special thanks to my supporters on Patreon and YouTube. Without you, I wouldn't be able to get anywhere. Thank you very much for your interest.